Amber Rose. She has a talk show. Has a new talk and show. You said that in an interview, she just said, I think they, I watched, I read some things. I, I think that was the Hip Hop Honors Awards that you're thinking. No, 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 no. I saw, that was when she came out. This is something I read. I also she like, did an article where someone interviewed her in some magazine that I have, and it was like, she was talking about having a, ga- like a talk show, and she was almost like, yeah, I'm not really sure why I'm famous or anything. I don't know. Yeah, is this the episode? Yeah, this is episode one. You want to play the I want to hear if she has a monologue. That'd be great. What's going on? Oh, her boobs are great. Her body in general is pretty fair. It's fantastic. stupid. Good for you, Wiz Khalifa. Not anymore. Uh, well, I'm sure. She's already moved on. No, she's like a... Drop that. That's, what a great song. Drop that dude, kitty down low. Dude, please rewind that. That's great. That's the song that she walks out to. This is. I want to come out. We gotta watch the opening monologue, but I just want to hear. Got the answer. What a great song, Lou! We gotta find this song, and it's gotta be one of our rejoiners. That's be our rejoin today. Drop that kitty down low. I have a feeling it's uh, called what, "Drop that kitty down low." Hold on, Lou. Cut the volume back on. It's on. Now it's on. Here's our monologue. Here we go. Amber Russell's first up. monologue. I'm excited to have my own show. I don't even understand it. (laughs) So you guys can get to know the real me. And actually, people don't know this about me, but I'm actually a virgin. Just kidding. I'm a hoe. Pause it. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. Pause right for I'm a hoe. Yes, yes. Pause it, but please. Can we look up who the writers for the show are? I bet we can in a second. Yeah. Because I want to shame them. <laughs> shame. Shame. A Who are the writers? Uh, that's her first ever monologue joke ever. I like we're judging her like she took over the Tonight Show. Dude, it's still it's pretty a, bad. It's like... it's, a, it's Just like, kidding. I'm a virgin. Just kidding. I'm a hoe. Is that a huge pussy fart? <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Listen to this. Oh, that was a little wet at the end there, y'all. <laughs> You can't be running away from a wet queef. <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm a virgin. Yo, you know who be queefing like a motherfucker? Black China. <laughs> oh, sometimes we just call on the phone and queef and the phone know each other. <laughs> we kick beats for Yo, each other. Yo, bitch, you ever queef in the Bluetooth? <laughs> Christine, you have something to say? say Dr. It? Phil's an EP on it. I know that. No. I did know that. I, I, I forgot it, but I did know that. Dr. Phil. Yeah. Dr. Phil McGraw. Yeah, he believes in her. Cause he, you know why? Cause she probably has a fucking cell phone tape of like, <laughs> like, like her, him, like him sucking a strap up. on yeah. or something. You're gonna need to give up that tape I have of me and that golden retriever. Just give me my show, Phil. Shut up, Phil. Damn, bitch. Oh, we can't find the writers yet. There's no way. IMDb. No, let's go back to. They're a not monologue. on yet. All right, let's go back to a monologue. Cause it's not on IMDb yet. Mm-mm. Motherfucker. I mean, the show is, but the writers aren't. Well, okay. Well, they will be, and then we'll shame them. Oh, we'll sh- I'm going to shame the shit out of them. <laughs> we will have a public bonfire. Let's shame. go back a couple seconds. Just so Whoever we can, wrote that joke. We can hear the great reaction to them saying, uh, when she says, I'm a hoe. God, her, her- this scares me, dude. Having a 13-year-old daughter, this terrifies me. Because even like the the free love 70s and all that kind of bullshit, yeah. it was still a thing rooted in like, no, everyone loves each other. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's the way certain people were. And they. Uh, by the way, I, I wouldn't want my kid of course to get caught up in that shit either like fucking a bunch of people because everyone loves each other but her just being like i suck a dick in a concert bathroom who gives a fuck <laughs> that's, well, that's their second monologue <laughs> <laughs> let's see oh, let me do the great uh the fucking what was the johnny carson bit yeah fuck what was the great yeah i don't know this is What's up? Hey, what? Yeah. I'm so excited. Are my areolas hanging there? Yes. So you guys can get to know the real me. And actually, I am a raging. I'm actually a virgin. Just kidding. (laughs) I'm a hoe. That makes that's edited. That's what you can expect from the Amber Rose show. We're going to touch on what's going on in the world. Pause it. they the editing. They're the editor into the chair. <laughs> like they, they skipped the whole monologue. Dude, they she's skipped standing. the whole monologue. She goes. I, I like that that's the producer. That's the only part that was salvageable. I liked that her Jacob had to be oh, running over there. He goes, "Okay, so you're gonna. This is your mark when you come out here and drop the virgin hoe thing. And then I need you 
quick. We're going to do a cutaway of the audience <laughs> roaring. By the way, you're then we're going to swing back. Ovation. You're going to be in this stupid little weird chair we have set up for you, and then and then we'll get right into it. You're going to be in a uh, weed dealer from the '70s's chair that he has in his room. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be at the foot of his bed chair. Go ahead. Of course, because it's me. We're going to talk about sex. Regular to extra kinky. If you like sex, then this is the show for you. And if you do not like sex, just give me a half an hour to change your mind. It's so funny. Uh, actually, Amber, I was viciously molested by my uncle, so I have a very real reaction to sex. Why do I? Just give me a half hour, and we're going to wash that away. Uh, I don't think that's possible. I was, I was getting raped on a. I was getting raped by a fraternity in college about two weeks ago. I. I, just, I don't want to really hear about sex right now. Holds up. Give Can me, you give me 30 <laughs> minutes to even try to fuck with your brain? Because I mean, <laughs> you'll see. I comes real with it all the time. <laughs> I'm going to teach you that sex is fun. Um, I was actually uh, human trafficked for four years. Uh, Girl, your pussy is a flower, though. It don't matter. You know what you should have done? Taking that salt and dick. Like, <laughs> 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 all y'all motherfuckers can pick this rose. Damn. <laughs> all up in my booty crack. What, what? Clap, clap. Splat out. Splat out. And cut. That was episode one. Perfect. <laughs> we got it on the rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> I have been in the room for several live TV moments. Elvis' per first performance. <laughs> old man. Amber, we're going to plug some laughs into this thing, and you are golden. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are good to go. I have seen talent before, but never like this. Damn, that you being mad serious right now? Because I want to talk about sex, and that's all I do. So just give me a half hour. Can we turn off the cameras and can someone baby oil my titties up a little bit more? <laughs> <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Busting nuts. <laughs> Yo, this fine-ass brother told me there was one hair on my booty hole last night. Can yeah. you go down there and tweeze that? Where hair makeup at? <laughs> Here we go. Keep going. My celebrity friends are going to stop by. So whatever your thing is, we got your back and your front. What? And mother's got no filter, so you know I'm going to talk some <laughs> What are you, you going to talk shit about? Kanye <laughs> West like to take fingers in the dookie hole. I'm gonna talk, and you know I got an open mouth, so I'm gonna say it right now. The economic inequality in the United <laughs> States is unfair. There are far too many people controlling a mass amount of the wealth, while good, hardworking Americans can't find a decent job. You know I'm gonna talk shit, because it's VH1. <laughs> black also, lives matter, and black men splatter all over my booty hole. And I'm gonna say this. They dicks is delicious, and there's a systematic problem with the way police officers are treating black people in this country. You're like, Amber, you are going far too deep. All right, y'all. Trump 2016, peace. Uh, get that money. Suck my butt. Drop that kitty down low. Drop that kitty down low. Get that She's twerking to the USA chant. Oh, clap, 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 clap. Uh, oh, y'all want it? Clap, clap. That was VH1 host Amber Rose speaking at the Republican National Convention. All right, all right, NRC. Hey. Follower is Navy SEAL Chris Henderson, who survived an attack in Fallujah. Hey, y'all, I ain't been to Cleveland since Bone Thugs and Harmony Bukaki my dumb face back in 99 Eternal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're bringing the whole industry back to Cleveland. My assistant, Joseph. Oh, Simon Phoenix. <laughs> this is Big B, my security. <laughs> and Big B and girls, please don't try to ask me to hook you up with him because I just the list is already too long. I just don't have time. Unless you want to know what my lipstick looks like. Damn! Wait, Brandon. Brandon is just Amber's homie. <laughs> what the fuck was that? He literally just had a, 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 had a thing under his name. It said Brandon. But go back to Amber's homie. That's just so great. When you get like that kind of famous, you, you, like do you understand? Like you and I like have been doing comedy. Famous? Both of us have been doing comedy for over a decade. Sure. For us to get a show, there was no faith in us, even though we've just been working hard for no one. If you just go, hey, and also, like, I have my buddy's actually pretty, he makes funny faces. So if you just throw him in the front, let's give him a credit and a couple bucks. There you go. They'd be like, 
Get the fuck out. Wait, what? Yeah. Ambrose like, my homie Brandon want to be there, though. He wear mad bandanas. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but he good to wear like seven bandanas. <laughs> Yo, he got so many bandanas. He got two around his wrist, one around his head, and two hanging out of his dookie hole. We got to give him at least a producer credit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a line producer, segment producer, something. I, I know y'all got something in that box full of titles. Yeah, and there's this one guy that's like, Amber, can I? Can I grab your butt? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Let her have whatever yeah, she huh? wants. Yeah, huh? Yeah, you can. And, and why come my homie ain't up front? Can I put a <laughs> Can I put a meat a, a meat thermometer in between your tits? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and those, those are production meetings for the Amber Rose show. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, oh, how about this? Then I have my girl come out. We talk about shoes like a motherfucker. Just, that sounds great, Amber. Can I? <laughs> Lay my head on your breasts. <laughs> it's the way, yeah, yeah, huh? You know the way. You know how, like in strip clubs, there's those old men that think they're in relationships with the stripper. Oh so they, yeah. So they bring him flowers and shit. I just imagine that's what the executive producer is like with Amber Rose. Yeah. Hey, hey Amber, Daddy's here. You want to do? You have, you have a production meeting? Yeah, huh? <laughs> Amber. So I think. Uh, you know, I, th I think I can get next weekend off if you'd like to go to my house in Tahoe. He goes. He goes. Can I touch it? <laughs> Like, yeah, I guess so. He goes, <laughs> it, does, it it moves, but 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 it moves all at once. Say the word right now. I'll leave my wife. I'll call that bitch right now. I'll so. kill her, Alice. Alice, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Amber Rose wants you dead. You are dead. <laughs> I'll I'll put my son in a boarding school. You can move in with me. Yeah. Huh? And then uh. you can just tell me all about it. What a dumbass. Go ahead, play it. Please introduce Stop Brandy. by. So whatever your thing is, we got your back and your front. Oh. And mother's got no filter, so you know I'm going to talk some mm. Kennedy. Was by the way, so also, by the way, also. The moon is a hologram. Pa pause <laughs> it. Pause for a crazy. second. I'm going to talk that shit like the earth is flat. Dude, also, how much we celebrate, like, someone, like, whistleblowing, like, people's personal news. Yeah. And so, like, she has, you know, her own show, and she's like, oh, that, that motherfucking Kanye, like, fingers up his dookie hole. And, then, and they're all like, like, yeah, this girl should have a show. That's what right. Like, yeah, she's the modern-day Bob Woodward. Just tell them people, yeah. <laughs> she just, she really, she has an expose coming out. <laughs> she doesn't have, have to be like Deep Throat. You actually had the Deep Throat. <laughs> Did you guys read the Washington Post today? There's a flavor profile of Wiz Khalifa's cum. <laughs> It's uh, it's in the op ed piece. It's in the op ed section, which I don't necessarily agree with. I, I know one, for one month he was vegan and it was all bland, stringy. <laughs> Amber, can I uh, can I touch it? <laughs> oh god! Tune in Tokyo. Tune in Tokyo. I I I pray every night to the sun. <laughs> My dad, while my my wife, loveless wife lays next to me doing nothing. It's like, oh, I got an idea for a segment too. Where like I take y'all shopping. Oh my God, can we have Brandon show up? He dresses like Bruce Springsteen in '94. Can, can I just? Can you open your legs and let me smell it? Just please, let me just, just smell it. If you could get it warm and put it on my forearm. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't even need an insertion. I just, I just want to feel like it's warm. Just get, let me give it a few, a few hand, a few hand hatchets. You know, right like, in the meat, right in, the, right in the majoris. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when you wash your hands and you need one of those towel dispensers to let it go. <laughs> I swear, I won't go past the majoris. I'm a married man. I just uh, let me just touch the majority. I, I know it might not be fun for our listeners, but it is very fun for us doing Amber Rose's fucking executive producer of her <laughs> show. Whatever she says goes, because he just wants to fucking look at her. <laughs> just touch her. Uh, hit play for Amber Squad. Can I keep your underwear? <laughs> My assistant, Joseph. Yes. He's like a gay Simon Phoenix. Personal this assistant. Big B, my security. Yeah. Big B just beating motherfuckers up. And Big B, and girls, please don't try to ask me to hook you up with him because I just, the list is already too long. I just, and not only that, he is wanted for murder. And of course, my homie had to stop by. Come Woo. show me some love. Brandon, my homie, he just yeah. stopped by. And they all wait on me hands and foot, and I like that, because I'm queen mother, of course. So you guys mother. heard that my girl, I'd be like this. Nikki. She goes, there's a queen mother? It'd be funny like this. She goes, she wait on me hand and foot. Uh, hey, Amber, it's Brendan. Uh, 
Uh, not really. We've been friends in seventh grade. <laughs> we have a very balanced friendship. Brandon, shut up. Go get my purse. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? That's embarrassing. Yeah, but I got to get to work anyway. I just so. stopped by to wish you good luck on your first show. I'm not even dressed to be on TV right now. I'm going to split. I'm a gaffer over at Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do segment producing. Uh, for, yeah, for you're probably going to take some of my advice on this instead of just running off free with it. I won an Edward R. Murrow Award <laughs> for reporting. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Brendan. I work at CNN Headline News. I was a finalist for a Pulitzer. I, I do you understand that I have three Peabodies on <laughs> just my writing alone? Amber, I stopped by to wish you luck because we grew up together in Philadelphia. Brandy, shut, motherfucker. Queen Ma is talking Queen about Mother. Dance. Queen Mother. She calls herself Queen Mother. Oh, here we M-U-V-A. go. M-U-V-A. Her breasts are exquisite. That's I get her, her brand. I get her executive producer though. That's her brand, Mava? Mava. I thought it was Muva, but yeah, I guess it's Mava. Mava. Oh, my God. What a dimwit. Go. Swaggy, please. She caught him on the security cameras with another girl in their home. Yeah. Savage. Oh, really? That happened again? I believe should follow her heart and do whatever she wants in life. What's unfortunate is that every time I follow my heart, I wind up taking a bat to a man's car. (laughs) Thanks, fiance. Me for that joke. <laughs> Moving on. My Wait, hold on. Brown. By the way, pause pause it, pause pause what's the joke? First there of all, there was nothing joke. You just said you assault all your boyfriend's cars. <laughs> yeah. That's why, you know what? Whenever I fall in love, my cousins end up having to kill a motherfucker. <laughs> a motherfucker. Yeah. Whenever I be following my heart, I go to my man's house and I wait and then I beat him half to death with an Eastern aluminum baseball bat. Amber. If you let me put in two fingers, I'll have him murdered. <laughs> I'll have all of your enemies disappear. <laughs> I'm friends with Roger Ailes. Just, can, just let me put in one finger. Oh, please. I'll never, I'll never watch the finger again. Can I just... Can I watch you go... Can I watch you go potty? <laughs> can you jelly up and rub it on the back of my hands? <laughs> all right, uh, where are we at on it? I say just play it. Can't stay out of the news. Uh, <laughs> oh, Chris Brown. Um, recently, he was kicked out of a villa in Ibiza after the landlord told the cops that Chris and his crew trashed the place and found urine and puke everywhere. Uh. I mean, Chris, I mean, you could have just stayed at a cheap motel. Like, it already comes with urine and vomit. <laughs> she's just reading jokes she, written for. Like, she's such a... Uh, but all the way, by the way. She's just such the, a vessel, though. It really, they just I'm go, really glad we're watching this. They're like, they're like, hey, pretty shape, go out there and just say these things so people can fucking, like, jack off to the fucking I the basic find cable. Out. I want to find out that this writing stuff. I want to know. I was really... Uh, now I'm getting was, fired up. Yeah, I was fired up about that thing from that opening joke. I told you to pause the show. Let's look up for who the writers are. Now, you didn't seem interested then. Now you see what my issue was. Now like, you're starting to see zero to 60 soda. Because we know people get these jobs. Every time I go to a show, there's always some comic I know. or some Fucking lock. My jaw is starting to lock up. And I want to know who the fuck made this <laughs> thing. <laughs> wanna- and if they're my friend... We got problems now. <laughs> yeah. I want to go kill Dr. Frankenstein. I don't want to kill the monster. <laughs> oh, my God. I want the monster to have a big... Oh, yeah. So if you see Dr. Th- Phil, kick him in the nuts for me. Yeah, this is a real problem. Christine. It's definitely a slap in the face to entertainers. Without the, it really is going like... It's, it's, it's that, offensive. It's just going like this. They're telling you something you have to work for your whole life. They go, it's that easy. Just, like, be pretty enough to fuck someone famous and not be afraid to tell all their business. Fuck, I'm getting all jacked up about this. This is why, as a comic, sometimes you get asked the question, they're like, you can make enough money doing that? Because they're like, everyone can do it. (coughs) Oh, yeah. Everyone, dude. Hit play. I'm going to get more fired up. Cable, right? Right. No Wi-Fi, though. (laughs) All right, next, Justin Bieber posted, I'd rather be lonely than to hang out with just anyone to not feel lonely. They have to be awesome or I'm Netflix and chill. Well, Justin, just call me. You know, I like them young, honey. And, like, I like white men, too. And you just got tats? Like, I'm into that. I mean, that's the and joke. You know she what? goes, just so hold you on, know, hold on, I'll but, fuck you. Yeah, that that's her hot take on the issue. Good girl, I don't give a shit if you're young. I'll take all that t- <laughs> all them colors of dicks. Who gives it, a it shit? It flashes back to where she's got those orange cones like they do at the airports when they're landing a plane. Could you imagine just, like, the feeling of, like, didn't Wiz Khalifa and her had a baby, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You put a baby in a woman who's going to do a, a show, a, a fucking show where she's going to go in there 
every week and talk about the people that you know well that she w- wants to fuck her. Because well, I'm saying, I know they're jokes, but she's not saying it's a <laughs> I joke. Just, I just keep thinking of like old clips when they show Johnny Carson in his writer's room sitting at his coffee table with oh, all his writers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or John Stewart coming in with a baseball cap and just going through all these jokes. I just imagine her in like pink sweatpants being like, all right, pitch jokes. What do we got today? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a good one. Uh, Justin Bieber is... Uh, he said he doesn't want to be alone. That's where you go. I'll fuck you. Love it. Bag it up. Put slap it, it up. <laughs> slap it up and down. Grab it up. Tweak his titty balls and then get it out there and put it on those goddamn cue cards. I want that on the projector right now. <laughs> sure. Now act it out, yo. How would I do it? How would I? T- <laughs> I don't cross my legs like that. Hold on. Rewind it a little bit and then play it. It's the jo- it's, He's fucking delivering these jokes. And some. Yeah, right, th- yeah, that's way too far back. Yeah, Christine. Jesus. <laughs> you want to watch the whole monologue? monologue again, <laughs> Christine's actually a legit fan of the show. She's like, I want to watch it. Hey, oh, by the way, why she's confused? She was just on our direct TV app, is DVRing the season <laughs> and Re- making it priority. I saw record series options, <laughs> yeah, yeah, series Dude. options, and she gives it about a ten minute. It stops ten minute after the yeah. show, just in case it gets bumped and goes long. And five in front, in case they've got a special <laughs> program, like a like a like a love and basketball reunion. Oh shit! Basketball wives. You want reunion. to catch the end of that? All right, go ahead. This is the same joke. Being lonely than to hang out with just anyone to not feel lonely. They have to be awesome or I'm Netflix and chill. Well, Justin, just call me. You know, I like them young, honey. And, like, I like white men, too. And you just got tats? Like, I'm into that. Who's Khalifa's kids? And you know what? Hold on. That's the part I want to hear. Okay. If he's if he is home and it's only Netflix and chill solo, he's definitely watching Orange is the New Black and jerking off. <laughs> hold on. And hold on. Uh, what? <laughs> it, it, right, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I got pretty excited there. I actually submitted that joke for the show, and they took it. And it's pretty cool they took it. That is good. You know what? I heard you could actually just submit by email. <laughs> here. Uh, who's jerking off to Orange is the New Black? It's about women in prison. Uh, well, that... Damn, that was the dumbest question you've ever asked me, but... I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you know, it wasn't a dumb question. I was with your question, and then your rationale was almost like the answer for that, I guess. Um, like, maybe just Vanilla Dan it, can't jerk off to... But I find that confinement. bizarre. Confinement. It's so bizarre that, yeah, Vanilla Dan, but you're like, I don't like the broken system. You're like, what, what would people jerk off to? Just women in prison. Like, yeah, not I think, se- I but it's not thing. sexy women in prison. It's but there like is the... sex scenes in it, right? I don't, I've never watched the show at all. I'm not a lesbian, despite my hair and body. Well... You know what? Let's go back to the Amber Rose show. Only, if, only thing I can solve this is more Amber Rose. Oh, what I would like to say to you, Justin, is welcome to my world. <laughs> what? Netflix and chilling, and lonesome, and hanging out with Brian. This next story. Rick Ross doesn't seem to be having a rough time on house arrest. He Snapchatted a video getting a four-hour, $1,000 massage around his ankle bracelet. (laughs) (laughs) What's crazy is that I actually know that celebrity masseuse, and she gives the illest ankle. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God, that is... Oh, dude, I thought that was actually... That was real. Somebody's like, oh, that was really caught somebody. On the 4th of July, her boy Tom Hiddleston rocked a I Heart TS tank top. Did he suck him? So cute. Can I please come next year to your party? And tell her, as long as you know that my plus one won't be Kanye, then we'll be straight. Oh. But pause it. It's so frustrating that they're that they're inside baseball. Like the whole, everyone knows. I, I fucking know that what that joke means. That's annoying. You know what I mean? Like she's a she's such like a a nothing talent oh. that like it's an annoying that you know what she's talking when she goes Kanye's. It's like oh that was her ex boyfriend. You know he's the one that basically brought her into the like limelight. It was him. We have him to blame for that. Watching the show always like it makes me feel like um. When you have to go watch like a friend's girlfriend perform, <laughs> oh yeah, holy shit! And then you have to like act like it's good. Oh yeah, but I'm not acting like it's good. Obviously, we're talking about how it's just an abomination. I it's almost want to know if we can fire. get if we can somehow if we can get a bar to agree to let us uh, like wh- whatever night this show comes on like live that <laughs> bonfire all goes to a bar and we watch it together and just get hammered. Yeah, I'll drink again. <laughs> <laughs> when, when what night does it air? Um, oh, I don't know. All right, well, we, look, find that out while you're. I think us we've listen. reached. 
No, we're at the end of the, we're at the, end of the monologue right. yet. Right. On Monday, July 11th, is the VH1 Hip Hop Honors in New York City. <laughs> so you know this is. Hip Hop will be there. Queen Latifah, Missy Elliott, Salt and Pepper, oh. featuring Cinderella, of course. Oh. Little Kim, my all-time idol. Oh. And, um, yes, Little Kim. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and the show will be hosted by Eve, a Philly girl. That's right, Amber Rose is from so Philly. for me doing the interviews on the red carpet, and of course, I'm going to be getting nosy backstage with all the talent. Oh, and by that, I mean sucking all them dicks. I'm going to be sucking up so all them dicks. this weekend, some of you saw the pics of me and French Montana out, oh. and tonight, I'm sitting down with my baby, French hey. Montana, and you are the whole story. Are they a couple? I is that a, are they a couple? The show, and I love talking about sex. So yeah, we got it. My favorite segment, Ass Mother. Oh, oh Soda, we can't. I don't know if we get to Craig Glazer. I have to hear what her advice is. I realize this point we're just watching a TV show on the radio, but I love it. I don't think we're bothering anybody with this. I think you're bothering. Don't you want to hear what the answers to the Q&A are? I mean, that's. I want to know. I mean, it's probably yeah, having to do with... It's probably having something to do with just fuck him. You, you think that's every answer? It's like, I don't know. Like, he hit me and he fucked my sister. What should I do? He goes, girl, suck his dick, but, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Yo, Brand, yo, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon ah. my, boy, my homie Brandon wrote that. Oh, my God. Brandon is a genius. He actually wrote the storyline for season four of Breaking Bad. Yo, my, my assistant Stefano wrote that one. What's crazy is this show sucks, but we made talented in the writer's room. This show comes on Fridays at 11 p.m. on VH1. Damn it. Man, that's that where, a, by the way, that's where shows go to die. That's a horrible time. Yeah, you give them Fridays at 11, they're like... I mean, it's pretty... Well, I mean, my special airs Friday <laughs> yes. at midnight. Yeah. But I was going to say... Uh, Wasn't your special Friday at 11? Yeah, my Friday... It was, that was the exact time my special <laughs> yeah, came Yeah, Friday at 11. It was actually Saturday at 11, so... Uh, with Amber I am. Amber Rose takes more viewers away than my special. That's why I'm so angry at her. Yeah, that big I, old booty is right in the way of my specials rating. God, I just want to find out who the writers are. This is really... We have to find out. We have to Go. find out. Go. But... I'm, Okay. I, 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 the, the commercials are playing, right? Here's what I'm wondering is, at what year in my career do I take that job? Um, With the writing? Yeah. On there? I'll I mean, take a year uh, four. Uh, oh, where you just take it. You're in Los Angeles, and they're like, hey, they want you on the it's Ambrose gotta be, writing that's staff. The, the writing staff of Ambrose Show, if, if I'll, I will accept okay. the name of four-year comics. Four years. No one over five years. If you're over five years in comedy and you're writing for this show and, and this is what's being delivered, like, here's the thing. For, forget, I know you have to write in her voice, but I'm, I'm like, just, holy shit. I'm dude. just imagining, though, the immediate comedic defense of that is like, yeah, but you should see what they cut. There was like some actually good jokes just, that I just feel like they cut just for time. Just a note card in some asshole's writing that says, I'm a virgin. Just kidding. Dot, yeah. dot, dot. There was that. I'm a hoe. What's great is when they worked punch up. Hey, Amber. Okay, great. So that Kanye joke, we really feel like we're going to put that last before you plug hip hop honors. <laughs> what? What if it's a guy who's super passionate about his job? He comes and goes, Amber, cause I, I wrote this funny. <laughs> okay? You're tweaking it. You're playing with it. And it's like, just, <laughs> just, I'm just saying I put in a lot of work. Just read the fucking joke the way I tell the joke. <laughs> okay, remember when I pitched it in the room? It killed. Okay? There's a reason it killed. <laughs> I delivered it right. Yeah. Your delivery is shit. Stop. Stop pursing your lips. Okay. Just say the fucking words of this is on paper. We just got to get to the Q&A. That's what we got to get to. We got to get to the Q&A. Uh, uh, I left SNL for this. <laughs> so I had a pretty cushy office. Uh, I was sitting I was right one of Lauren's favorites. I was uh, sharing a space with Bobby Moynihan. He was great. And now I'm back here when your friend Brand is telling me shit ain't funny enough. And I don't know. <laughs> And we more watched, Philly stuff. Can we watch the clip, Ask Mother? Yep. <laughs> if a guy wants to pay me for pictures of my feet, am I a prostitute? How much does he want to pay you? $300. <laughs> if you ain't with it, girl, tell him to call me. Love you to pull I mean, that's every by, way, answer, by, by the way, she has said that for multiple things. Every answer of hers is, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. Or, yeah, it's like whatever gross thing you won't do, I'll just do she's it. Like Give a, my number. She's like a sex Rambo. Justin, call me. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Just I'll be doing it while I'm not motherfucking taking pictures of my feet. <laughs>
<laughs> That's easy. That's oh, that ain't easy. nothing. I be working your dick with my mouth while I'm digging picking this motherfucking feet. Uh, the actual, the Philly Inquirer interviewed her. Uh-huh. The, Philly, the Inquirer Daily News, philly.com. Oh, they gotta be proud. Philly girl. One of the questions was, why did you, why did you want to include comedy? Her answer was, one of my writers, he wrote for David Letterman. <sighs> And another wrote for Ellen DeGeneres. Is it Eddie Brill, the fucking writer for the Amber Rose Show? <laughs> we sit at this not done. We sit and collaborate, and I put my little sauce on it. Oh. <laughs> they know I needed to do comedy. I'm not going to do anything for money that I'm not happy with. Well, you just said you would let someone. <laughs> it's clear you'll do anything for money. It, yo, no matter you're saying you every five ever. seconds you'll do you'll anything fuck for, for money. money. You're saying it in the show, the yo, final product. Send it my way. I'll do it. Yo, it's gonna be if she gives the answer <laughs> to any more questions that says send them my way. I'll do it. Then I go. Now I love the show. Now the writer's a genius because he just got her to be like the biggest ridiculous idiot. Okay, so we're saying I could turn with this guy. If if he was able to convince her, it would be hilarious if she keeps giving the same answer. Of, <laughs> That's like the hello doctor from Spies Like Us. Yeah. Oh, dude. Hello doctor. Go ahead, hello, Christine. Doctor. Let hello. that roll a little. Bit. All right. Let's do one more Q and A. Hi. It's it's Amber Rose from the Amber oh Rose God. Show. He's gonna kill me. It's. I feel bad. Never mind. I'm lying. This is a prank call. Bye. <laughs> you have any suggestions for the sexiest way to put on a condom? Do you have a condom? Yes, I do. Oh, you stay strapped. Excuse you. Stay strapped. Open it with your teeth. Now, by the way, she's basically doing. Uh, I'll do it. Oh, maybe she's gonna have him do it. Yeah, well, also, the thing is, is, he's like, oh, no, I don't got a gun on me. <laughs> Stay strapped. She's like, uh, nah, my piece is in my car. What? Yeah. yeah. I don't know terms of shit. Yeah, what? You dick a gun to me. You'd be shooting baby bullets. <laughs> All right. Fertile condom, baby bullets. Put it on. Look into my eyes. No, not like that. <laughs> Look into my eyes like you love me. And he's looking at her like he's going to kill her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's done. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. All right, my brother. Yes. All right. What? That was the Q and A. That was the Q and A. That was the Q and A. That wasn't the only thing. Was it? Play it for one more second. <laughs> That's got to be the buffer to the Q and A. Always blowing me up, asking me for sex and relationship advice. So now it's your. If you've ever. Ask mother. Oh. Ask, no, here's ask mother. Joining what was my that? Good friend, sex and relationship therapist, Dr. Chris Donahue. Hey, uh, hi, uh, doctor. I you all the sex questions. All the sex all questions. Right, hi, Amber. I love you. I love you too. So you don't even know her. I'm dating this guy, and we were. Just pause it. Pause it for one second. I'm sorry. Just like this is exactly like. Women, why you get made fun of as a general whole is because several of you go like this. I love you. <laughs> I date this guy. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this woman here is giving you a bad name. I've had some brilliant conversations with some brilliant women. But an idiot who comes out and goes, I love you. I da, da, da. And ball, I boo, ball. boo, boo. Now I got to get back to my job as a vulture in the desert. <laughs> back this girl up uh, just a couple seconds. Seconds, and then, like, I mean, just listen to that voice, like, a droning. Hi, Amber. I love you. I love you, too. So, I'm dating this guy, and uh, we were bah, bah, dancing, bah, bah, and I noticed bah, that he had a small bah, kind of thing. He had a small dick? You yeah, say dick, he okay. had a small dick, and <laughs> I prefer my guys to have a little girth and a little bit of length, and I know that maybe... Yeah! <laughs> Fuck these chicks. <laughs> I just like it. I'm like, going to kill a girl tonight. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a size queen. Bing, 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 bing. That's our word of the day. <laughs> oh so my, my You just want a Mazda. <laughs> so my pussy like when a dick be me and me. Yo, I like all the air getting blown out. Bust out my pussy. Oh, you know them wet queefs. <laughs> So I don't know if I should just cut him off because I do like him. I think you should cut him off. Yeah. I mean, listen. There it is. Kind, you just said you kind of like him, right? You don't want to grow to love him, and he has a small penis. And listen, on the Amber Rose Show, we are not about body shaming, right? He can't help what he has in his pants. So we're not going to judge him for that. What? But 
your personal preference is to have a guy with a bigger dick. Yeah. And if it's just not there, it's just not there. I'm on the fence with it. I'm all about people being part of it. I love dick in all sizes. <laughs> I'll take it. I also know that most women <laughs> orgasm from clitoris stimulation. Wait, pause it. It'd be funny if he goes, you know what? Tell him to call me. <laughs> he just gives our answer. Uh, call me. I'll do it. I live in Ventura. <laughs> and I'm willing to travel. I'm disease free. You know <laughs> like Tell this little dick motherfucker to call me. I'll do it. I like a 420. Well, apparently I didn't know I was going to be on a panel with a cock monster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would say that Amber is apathetic. <laughs> she is a machine fueled entirely by jism. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be sitting next to a wishing well of a vagina. She is a jizz-fueled, jizz-milking machine. It is a self-sustaining system. <laughs> All right, a little more ask mother before the end. And the third piece is, yeah, if you like someone, you might have to be with someone whose penis isn't as big as you want. That's something he's practicing in the mirror. Disagree. Go big or go home. Yes. Oh, you fat pussy whore. Yeah. There's your shaming. Baby. There's your shaming. Let's take a look. You wide Hooked snatch guy, slug. And the condom got stuck inside me. Should I be worried about getting an infection? Has this happened to you? It's Hold still on. there. <laughs> Hold on. You couldn't fish it out? Hold on. A girl said that she had a condom left inside her after sex. And then she's asking Amber Rose, number one, has that ever happened to you? I'm going to take a wild stab and say, yeah. No, no, not those big donkey dicks, dude. Those things stay strapped on good. You stay strapped. That's a little, that's a little softening up and they pull out is when that happens, I think. All right, let's go to the answer. Wow. All right, this is what happens when guys put on magnums and they're not a magnum. Amber style. Rose's pussy hasn't been tight enough. Amber Rose pussy has, has not been tight enough to pull a condom off a dick since fucking 2004. I was going to say since uh, Clinton's administration. <laughs> oh, shit. You're taking it back. Yeah. Uh, a young Backstreet Boys were chopping the charts. Yeah. <laughs> Times were different. Uh, frosted tips were in. <laughs> Amber Rose's vagina was MKOTB out. Joey Fatone on top. <laughs> Fatone on the top. <laughs> You're about to sleep with a guy, and you know he pulls out the magnum. You like? It's well, a good you act are out. Not a magnum. Stop flattering yourself. So that that's the real issue, not it being stuck up in her. It's that it was. It's, I mean, listen. She should prop. Listen. Hopefully, it's just chlamydia. She can get some, you know, some antibiotics, and she'll be straight. But you're not gonna wear a hat that's too big for you. No, that's dangerous. You know? uh, safe sex means that you are using condoms that fit you. You're using condoms appropriately. You're putting them on right. Yeah. You're making sure. Dude, that Paul, uh, this is like ba this yeah. is like bad thing. <laughs> this shows like a bad thing. I mean, I'm intrigued by this episode or <laughs> well, how different. Are you talking about the episode? No, I'm just saying, it's like, I don't know. Let her like, pollute us, dude. VH1 is definitely like you know to hit a market of like they're trying to hit a market of like young like girls and guys and everything. What a just ridiculous shit! To, if that was a guy saying those things. About, you know, it's like, no, if you like a girl big, you better go for big titties with a girl. Like, fuck those little titty chicks. I mean, I ain't going to shame them because they got what they got. And then, by the way, I'm fine with the guy saying, I don't care about her saying this or a guy. You're saying, I'm don't saying, say body It's shame. just not even. It's yeah. like, it's like, you got to have, like, it's like the rules got to apply to both then. So we are offering Amber Rose an, an offer through our mutual friend Amy Schumer <coughs> to oh, come yeah. on the show. Anytime. And talk. Give us names of your writing staff. We're gonna get Lou so we can hunt them like elk. <laughs> and we're going to let Lou get drunk and debate. That's going to be our new segment of this year, Trump <laughs> Debates with Lou. We're going to get Lou tossed really quick and then make him debate a point. Because, by the way, he will fight through hell and high water for us. So we know if we give him a point, he'll back it with all the Lou logic he can. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you. We're going to have to like tie him to his chair so he doesn't headbutt Amber Rose right in her dumb, fat Q-tip head. I just want the names of the writers and their family. So I can go intimidate all of them into never writing any more comedy again. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's Schumer's friend, huh? She was on Schumer's show. So they're not like friends' friends. I think probably. they are. I mean, you'd got, it seems like a person that you'd have a hard time having a conversation with. She did guys we fucked. I know. She did? Yeah. Good for them. But I don't know if anybody knows what we're talking about on this show. Oh, yes, about guys sorry. we fucked. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a podcast. Our friends uh, Christine Hutchinson and Corinne Fisher, they do a podcast. And yeah, they had her on though. But it's another. That's 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 a another. That's show. her wheelhouse. Like, yeah, I think that's like a dump the, the competition quote, with Vince the quote, Carter. The quote unquote anti slut shaming. We can't even sort of get into this now. But there is a difference between anti slut shaming, which I'm all for. All for. I'm all for not slut shaming, but I I don't, I don't know why the that means it has to be slut 
promo, like to the highest power. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I suck mad dicks all day, every day. Who cares? Fuck you, bitches, if you hate it. And it's like, dick. wow, like, why? That's not what a- anti slut shaming is. That's saying, like, uh, I love sucking dicks and hear me loud and clear. Like, why? What's the need to, to brag about either? 